The following is a presentation of TFNN. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even def destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 115, Nasdaq up 69, S&P's up 18, gold contract down $7.40, traded at 1,243 an ounce. Silver off 16 cents at $20.22 an ounce. Platinum down 15 at 1,428 an ounce. Copper off a penny at 3.33 a pound. Light sweet crude up 62 cents, trading out at $92.42 a barrel. Bonds, you had the 10 year down 13 ticks at 124.05. 30 year off 14, trading out at 130.21. King dollar up 109 ticks at 80.72. The euro flat at 160 at 136. And the yen up a buck 16 at 104.16. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You're up 17 bucks. Wide price spread, no doubt. Uh, no juice behind the move. We did it with 600 million versus 733 on the way down yesterday. The high in the cash S&P is 1842. The low of that high is 1849, rather. The low of that high is 1842. Four one, um, the way this market here, it's going to go tap that baby. No, it, that wants to go tap it up again. No doubt. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow. A little bit different on the Dow now. The Dow is up 115 bucks. Uh, no juice behind the move, but the the high in the Dow uh, is 588. And right now we're at 373. So the Dow couldn't get the juice underneath it today. Now the Nasdaq certainly did get the juice underneath it. The composite up 69 dollars. We're at 4183, and the high is 4182.72. Yeah, we closed at a high. That's the bottom line. We closed at a high. It's not less volume than yesterday, but we closed at a high. And when you close at a high, that means it can go higher. If we take a look at the SPY, the SPY, the SPY was up today on 93 million shares versus downtown yesterday when you're coming down with 149 million shares. We look at the three Qs, the NDX 100. The NDX 100 was up today with 36 million shares. Now, the NDX 100, the high in the NDX 100 is 87.96. Right now, we are at 87.65. Uh, we had gone down yesterday on 48 million, we're up today on 36. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to get up and over that high. The, uh, we are at Already at the bottom of that high, though, so it's saying hey, it's going to go tap that baby, which is the 87.96 area. We go into the gold contract. We look at gold. This is what we do have with gold. They try to hit gold again, couldn't handle it, meaning the, my, the gold didn't want to go down. We had a price spread out here of 1254 to 1241. We closed out at 1250, 1243.70. You only did 132,000 contracts, so you're backing down. You're backing down with lighter contracts. This is building cause to get up and into this 1345 area. We go to the 10-year bond. We take a look at the 10-year bond next. What we have with the 10-year bond is this. She was down 13 ticks, 787,000 contracts. That, folks, is going into the monster sign of strength where it had 101 million contracts. So that little baby, one point. Six million, rather, 1.6 million. So she's backing down with lighter volume. She's building cause to get up into the 126.25 area. We go to the bond, the 30-year bond. What we have with the 30-year bond is this. 30-year bond back down today, 15 ticks. Also with lighter volume, we did 200,000 contracts. That 200,000 contracts is coming into 364,000 contracts. Rather, you have 419,000 contracts. She's building cars to get up into the 134.05 area. King Dollar. Let's go take a look at King Dollar out here. What we had with King Dollar is she rejected lower price. 
did it on light of volume. We did 13,000 contracts. We got down to a price point of 80.54. We're at 80.71. King Dollar's making a building some costs to get to 81.73. Not, it's not that it's that much higher. Uh, inside the heaviest volume stocks today, even though it was light, what you had, you had Tesla Motors up uh, 21 bucks. We had GameStop down nine. If you remember when a uh, uh, technology expert right here at TFNN, uh, David White, if you saw that show on Friday, when Dave is on with you every Friday, and he was basically saying that uh, GameStop is, te is toast, not only technically, but he was giving the fundamental reasons. Bottom line, it blew out this uh, swing point today with Monster Volume. We did 23 million shares versus 15 million at the swing point. Uh, down nine bucks. Let's go to our man Rick in British Columbia. Hey, Rick, what's going on, man? How are you doing today? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? Oh, yeah, really good, yeah. Cool, man. You know, Tom, I don't know if it's me, but over the last year, and I don't know if it's the QE that's driving it or what, but if you, for example, I put, like, I'm asking you actually about Wells Fargo first, but I'm just like to start off by, if you just put the Qs, let's just grab the Qs for the heck of it. Okay. And you put it on, a, like, a two-day hourly. Yeah. I mean, I don't remember seeing big moves when the volume's not right, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, in previous years, I would say, you know, last year was a huge bullish year, and I've seen days like that a lot last year, too. Yes. But, you know, if you believe in volume and you look at this, it, it, I don't remember seeing it quite erratic to the bullish side. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, am I kind of on the right pathway saying that or not? Well, what we did have is this. And this is what the difference would be in this last year, right now, in 2005 and 2000, well, 2006 and 2007. We had that happen. What the difference was is that, and in fact, I'll bring it up right now. What the difference was is that when we did get a pullback in 2006 and 2007, what you saw was, let me pull this up. We had, no, we had no volume up there, so it was expanding up there. But what had happened is that when we did get a pullback, it lasted more than a day. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so the difference there was dramatic for the bears, folks, okay? Because what ended up happening is that, you know, uh, you'd, you'd have the volatility. Like if I look at July of 2007, the queues were at 50.66. Guess what? The next month they went down to 44. You know, that's 15% uh, in one month. Well, then they go right back to 54. And then what do they do? They go from 54. And in two weeks, they, no, in a month, they go from 54 to 41. So they could, they basically, uh, what? They, that's 41, 50. They got on 13 points, okay? Monster mm -hmm. move, right? Then what do they do again? They go all the way back to 50. And then it crashed, of course, okay? Yeah. So the difference, um, you know, the difference was there then and there was still no juice there you know uh, but bottom line is that yeah the, okay so the way this but, come back no doubt yeah so going to it, it's financials right and i'm asking about wells fargo i looked at bac on a weekly i look at goldman sachs on a weekly both of them have volume at the highs okay which means they should go higher but anyway then bac comes out with earnings tomorrow goldman sachs uh, the following day but let's just look at wells fargo a minute and if you could start off by putting it on a decade one year You'll see that last year was significantly lighter than the previous year. Um, ice is obviously around 35. But I've seen an analyst today saying, well, you know, I think I've got a $50 price target on it. Yes. And, um, you know, when you look at the volumes, and, and I mean, this is a yearly. Now, you know, you can go quarterly, monthly, sure. weekly. Do you think, like I see an inverted head and shoulder on a yearly chart to get the 50, uh, I don't know if it's QE driven or what, but I don't remember seeing, you know, here again, look at last year, how light a volume was to the, to the previous year. Well, um, you know, this is what you have. So the high, the high that I have of uh, 08 was $44 and 44 cents. And that's the benchmark, you know, now we're over that right now. And we got over that last month with 5 billion shares versus, 12.8 billion. This is on the monthly, on, on the yearly, folks, which, which we're doing. And the previous year, look at 2012. 
how we took a... Oh, a, you know, no, I understand that, but those shooting lawyer. stars love to get, you know, I mean, well, that was a doji, but bottom line is that that's where we're at. So, $44.44 and $0.44 cents is a good benchmark, man, period. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You come underneath that, well, then, it, we, that's trouble, man. Yeah. Well, that's a pullback. I don't know about trouble. It's a pullback. Maybe, maybe for 24 hours. I'm only kidding. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one. You stay right there, folks. We have the Dow finished up 115. NASDAQ up 69. SP's up 18. We're going to be right back.